why we are saying we don't want to come to Nigeria? People want to come to Nigeria because they noticed in my live stream people don't wear masks and they were asking, is there COVID in Nigeria? Guys, I don't think, I don't know if there is COVID, okay? Because COVID came to Nigeria, but you know how prayerful Nigerians are? We chased Corona away from Nigeria by fire, by force, okay? COVID-19 Nigerians come I pledge to Nigeria my country to be <laughs> Oh my goodness if you if you still remember how to sing the Nigerian national anthem um please help me out in the comment section Shame on you, glory. Shame, 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 shame. And I know some people will be like, do not pledge to Nigeria. Pledge to Biafra. Anyway, whichever one I'm pledging to, guys, all I just want is a peaceful and a happy Nigeria. Good morning, guys, from my time here. And recently, I have been getting lots of support on my channel. I mean, massive support. And this is why I'm starting this video appreciating you all. Because this huge support wouldn't have happened without you all. Thank you so, so much. Anyway, um, some people have said they want to see me interview my mom on this channel. They want to see my mom talk. Yeah, guys. <laughs> that is um, going to happen, okay? The reason why I'm making this video is because, you know, I'm someone that don't like telling people um, my plans. Okay, even those that are very close to me, um, you will mean something to me before I could share my plans with you. During my live stream, people were asking, when will you come to Nigeria? That was when I was in Kuwait. So I told them I will come to Nigeria, but nobody's going to know. And some people were like, um, that's glory, don't come to Nigeria. Nigeria is not safe. Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. And you, ha, 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 ha. let me tell you the truth. I know there's been kidnapping, there has been arm robbery, this and that. But guys, no matter what, Nigeria is our home. Nigeria is my home, and I'm not gonna use because people said don't return to Nigeria, and then I'll be scared of my fatherland. Guys, I'm already more than one month in Nigeria, and I think this is the best decision I have ever made. Getting to spend time with my family, my loved ones. One of the main reasons why I returned to Nigeria was because I thought Facebook was eligible here in Nigeria. As a content creator, we earn money from making Facebook and YouTube. Also Instagram, in case you're watching me, you don't know. Yes, I know some people will be like, stop telling people your source of income. But guys, some people don't know about this. So this is me sharing with people that we as content creators, we earn money. On this platform when I discovered that I can earn money from Facebook I was already in Kuwait and when I applied for more for my Facebook monetization they restricted me and said now's glory is restricted from earning money because she lives in a country that is not eligible for Facebook monetization so guys because of that we checked online if facebook is being monetized in nigeria and guys i saw an article that facebook is monetized in nigeria guys and out of excitement i told my husband babe i need to go to nigeria because people love my content people love what i'm sharing out there so i think i should be earning because there are people that earn money from facebook in it we went to my husband's country that is bosnia and serbia for vacation we spent some time i think months there and you know, Facebook is not even paying in those countries. So that is why I came to Nigeria. And um, I tried up the applying for my Facebook monetization again, but it didn't work. Okay, it did not work. So it was someone that reached out to me. I don't know if you know this couple on Facebook, Igo Eaglet and Jenny Slimzy. Those people are so amazing. I don't know that there are still amazing content creators out there, you know. These days, content creators are very jealous of their fellow content creators. They'll be like, why well, should I help her? Why should I do this? Why should I do that? But guys, when this, they even made a video about me asking people to reach out to me. 
and when i finally did guys they told me what i have to do and this that blah 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 i really really appreciated that so that was when i realized that facebook was once eligible for monetization in nigeria but now it's no longer available because i created a new page to see if i can get monetized I was still told I was restricted, so now I know that Facebook is not eligible in Nigeria. Even though I did not achieve my aim of coming to Nigeria in order to get monetized on Facebook, guys, at least I achieved something. I achieved something. Take a look at my family. I don't know if you were following me before when I was in Kuwait. Just, I think around Majesty's birthday, I made a post. I said, my family a new apartment yeah because i sent money home for them to get an apartment guys guys i never knew that this was a house not this one the old house you saw in my video that people were insulting themselves in it i never knew that was the kind of house my mom rented i never knew and when i asked mom why did you rent this kind of house she said eh that you cannot be wasting money now let them just take this one and guys um the money really reduced because my younger sister was sick she was a cancer patient before she died and you know we spent money on my late sister and after all the money we spent she still died so my mom used the remaining money left and got that apartment and she was telling me and convincing me that the apartment she got was nice was beautiful that we're gonna like it when we come it's spacious guys when i got to nigeria and then i saw the nice apartment my mom claimed i was like what mama what is this mommy i'm a content creator this is why i asked you to get a nice place so that when i come home i can make a good video anyway i started um searching for apartments when i got to nigeria because i don't like the environment of that place there are mosquitoes breeding in a stagnant gutter around the house and also there is this pest that comes to the house guys no, no, no i don't like it so i still looking for an apartment of which people don't know you know this is me not sharing my plans with people and people were insulting themselves oh when you go to kuwait when you go to philippines when you go to bosnia Serbia, you're showing people nice nice places of those countries but then you came to nigeria and you're showing the poor areas of nigeria excuse me guys don't you know there are people living in this kind of places? I didn't know human beings. Are you better than them? Thank God I'm not someone that can be intimidated. I showed you what we have at that moment. Okay? I showed you where my people are living. And that I think it's even better. There are some people that are living in a worse place like that. And people were insulting themselves. Listen, if you want to see a nice place in Nigeria, go use your camera. Okay? And vlog the nice places in Nigeria and show the world. Yeah. A lot of people are watching Nigerian movies. I believe they've been seeing nice, nice places in Lakey, Aja, Ikoyu, Victoria Island, even in Abuja, Maitama, Asoko area, 11 area. There are nice places in Nigeria. So, are you not tired of seeing nice places? This is me just showing you temporarily where we're living. And you are just insulting yourself. Anyway. Now, what do you have to say? Anyway, so the reason why I'm making this video is to tell you do not let anyone discourage you from returning to Nigeria. Nigeria is very sweet. Nigeria is all those your Nigerian food that you've missed. Come home and eat them. You have this sense of belongingness in Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. Why we are saying we don't want to come to Nigeria? People want to come to Nigeria. People are messaging me, Nos Glory, I want to come to Nigeria. I love the peace. I love the serenity. I love the fact that there is no COVID in Nigeria. Because they notice in my live stream, people don't wear masks. And they were asking, um, is there COVID in Nigeria? Guys, I don't think. I don't know if there is COVID, okay? Because COVID came to Nigeria. But you know how prayerful Nigerians are? We chased Corona away from Nigeria by fire by force, okay? COVID-19 COVID ran away from Nigeria because Nigeria became serious. You know, 
you know we don't have good hospitals here and some good hospitals here are very expensive before they can even attend to you only god will help you so the only doctor we have here in nigeria is dr jesus so that is why hey majesty so which is why when sicknesses or any pandemic whatever comes to nigeria we don't have any choice but to pray and call on god when we use traditional medications herbal medicines and then we pray and we are healed you know and we eat good food very strong and nutritious oh my goodness guys we are so blessed here in nigeria so all those food that i have not been eating since i left nigeria i'm eating everything right now and um when before i came to nigeria guys I was scared because of what people were saying about Nigeria. When you open the news, people are saying negative thing about Nigeria. When you do this, you hear negative thing about Nigeria. When you move to this direction, you hear negative things about Nigeria. But guys, when I booked my flight to Nigeria, I told God, all these negative things I'm hearing about Nigeria, none will affect me. I will come to Nigeria, enjoy my father's land, and live in peace. Nigeria will favor me. And guys, Nigeria favored me. Look at the wonderful apartments I get for my mom. Look at the beautiful things I do for them. They are so happy. They love it. They could hardly eat these days in this house because they are so excited of what has happened in their life. And um, not just the house and property, guys. My income increased. It skyrocketed. I'm like, so I could make this kind of money guys god is good god is good and look at my supportive husband guys what else do, do i want eh just let people be if they want to come to nigeria you advise them but stop instilling fears in them if you come to nigeria mind your friends mind the people you are going out with do not eat at places that you were invited because people are evil some people might put poison in your food you know so you shouldn't eat anything okay and also be prayerful not be prayerful because um, god will see your trip <laughs> so guys as you can see um, i'm relaxed because some people noticed that i was stressed that i was getting slimmer that even though i'm eating every day i still look stressed this that guys just be nice to people please please okay you don't know the kind of stress i went through when i came to nigeria very early in the morning as early as 6 a.m i have gone out looking for a nice apartment i saw apartment but they were not my taste they were not the kind of apartments i want i want something extraordinary even though it's gonna cost money guys we are making the money you know we ha i have a, an amazing husband and apart from that guys i have facebook families supporters who sent gifts to my siblings and to my mom Guys, God has been so good. God has been so faithful. So if I did not have come to Nigeria, I wouldn't have known that this is where my parents is living. And people that know me as a public figure, if I'm making lunch, they'll say, stop here and showing off. Go and help your mother. Go and help your mother. Look at where they are living. Guys, I don't know because they did not show me the picture of the environment. They only showed me the picture of the room. I said, oh, it's so nice. I'm like, okay, this is nice. If I just come, I'm going to renovate it. But the money I was going to use to renovate it, I used it to get a new one, which is more better. I even have to renovate the house for the next people that will come in, for them to just, you know, enjoy. So that is just it, guys. Do not be scared to make a move. If you want to travel to a country and people are discouraging you, just make your research, okay? And if you are going there, be careful, like, hide yourself. Do not show yourself off, okay? People that say that I'm showing off, look at me. Is it because I'm always making videos? Anyway, if people are talking about you, it means you are doing something amazing, something wonderful, something nice that could not make them to stop watching and talking. So I think they are admiring me. Anyway, so guys, um, take a leap of faith. Life itself is all about taking a risk. You don't even know what will happen. You are not being careful. It's just the grace of God. It's just the grace of God, okay? So, just be prayerful. Put your activities, your movement in the hand of God. And you see yourself prospering. And guys, I wish you all the best in everything you're doing.
okay and blessed to be that time and you know what the most exciting part of all is that i can't wait to see my first son this um, december is around the corner thank you so much for for being part of this amazing family in joyce <laughs> god bless you and do have a wonderful day bye